What if three girls had access to all your photos and were asked to build the best online dating profile? Do girls really know best what girls want? You'll find out because in this video you'll get to peek into the mysterious mind of the mythical creatures called girls. I asked three of them to build my profile and because science has proven that people who already know you rate your photos differently from people who've never seen you before, I asked the guy who works at TextGod if he knows some lovely ladies who are up for the challenge. So these girls will see my photos for the first time ever just like girls on Tinder, Bumble or Hinge would. I also asked the girls to be brutally honest, pretty much like it's a girls night and they're discussing boys but you and I are secretly eavesdropping. You'll see that some some things they really love. This one's cool. I like this one a lot. And some things they'll hate. Oof. No. No. Let's see what kind of secrets we can uncover at this pyjama party. Let's start this off with a never-ending discussion. Body pics. Yes or no? I like the shirtless pics. Let's be honest, girls. Yeah, like. I like this one. Wait. So they do like shirtless pics? Why? It's cool, it's on Polaroid. Okay, wait, so it's because it's a Polaroid. It shows that you're not fat. So it's nice because they can see you're not overweight and it's a Polaroid. I'm swearing through Tinder and I see guys taking mirror selfies. It's like, yeah, you're like oh, come on, like, you know, that yeah, you're hot. Like, mirror selfies. Like, like, it's so unposed and like, it's just like a casual photo of exactly. you. You know what I mean? If like, you're gonna have a on your Tinder or whatever, yeah, like you said, it's gotta be natural, like unposed. All right, that makes a lot of sense, right? Body pics are cool when they're casual and unposed. When the photo's not screaming like, hey, look at me, I'm so hot. And we also heard them say that body pics are a big no-no. Hmm, let me quickly put that to the test though. Oof. No, no. Okay, that was clear. And they also said artsy is fine, right? Let's double check that as well. Ooh, not bad. Yes, this one's a for show. <laughs> all right, all right. These girls seem consistent. The less posed, like the in the moment Polaroid, the better. By the way, subscribe if you like this type of video because I have the exact same experiment coming up. But this time it won't be girls making my profile, but some of the best guys in my mentoring program. Do you think the girls like this photo? They know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see who does a better job. Okay, something else now. Something I know most guys don't realize because I get about 69 comments on YouTube per week of guys complaining that dating apps only work for the best looking guys. Most guys would love to have a photo like this. But what they don't realize is that when girls see the photo, they have this reaction. It just looks like why are you trying so fucking hard? Yeah, this is not like a modeling portfolio, you know, you fucking auditioning <laughs> for Tinder. It's something that I have been preaching inside the Text Got Mentoring program for ages. Vibes are more important than looks. Want some proof? Let's compare this modelish photo with an in the moment vibey photo. It just looks like. Why are you trying so fucking hard? Yeah, so I so like this one. Okay, I like this. This is like to show like a bit of fun, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I like it. So don't have those overpost photos, but at the same time, make sure your photos are not too unesthetic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Another thing most guys don't show in their profile is that they are having fun. Everybody likes having fun. So why don't you show in your profile that you are fun to be around? <laughs> The good news is that you don't even need a fancy photo shoot to show that you and your life are a pleasure to be a part of. Something as simple as a quick coffee with your friends on a hangover morning can be good enough. This one's alright. I don't like the filter, the fucking glitch folder going on. No, I actually think this is cool. Like, I mean, I kind of like it. It looks like it's super chill. It looks like you're all having a good time, like good company. Like, I feel that's very important. Like, when I'm going to guys to never fall and I see he's like with his friends just having a good time. It's like, I want to be a part of that. Do note, though, that in group photos, you want it to be instantly clear which one is you. The spotlight in my group photo is on me your eye doesn't really feel the need to wander much to the other guys. Unlike in this group photo. Oh my god, no, this looks like a fucking album cover. <laughs> <laughs> something else I found super fascinating is that some things are cool to us guys, 
but not to girls. For example, I have this photo a friend made in the midst of a boxing training. When I showed it to my friend, for example, he said, Jesus, bro, you look swole, bro. You look chiseled yeah. as shit. Thanks, bro. Fuck. Oh, you should be in the UFC, bro. Call Dana White. Yeah, Yo, bro. You should post that on your Tinder, dog. Fuck yeah. Oh. Tell him about Tinder, bro. bro. Let me hide my girlfriend. Fuck. But here's what the girls thought about it. Yo, like, but this, I feel like this is the way your boys like hype you up. You're like, yo, fuck, that's a sick picture, dude. But like girls be like, yeah. Like I said, I feel like this is the photo that your your boys will like back you on, and you'll be like, "Yo, dude, that's a fucking sick photo, like my dog." Yeah. Is. Girls will be like, "Whatever." And this is also true for other photos I have where I try to look super tough and impressive, like here where I tried to look all seductive and suave, but apparently came across as some sort of mobster. Although it seems that Italian mafia vibes can be hot to some girls. I don't know, it's giving me like Italian mafia vibes. I don't know why. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this thing that us guys do where we hype each other up about some photo that we find very manly and cool but in fact it seems like girls don't like it as much this reminded me of something that girls do on social media i see it often where a girl has a certain haircut usually quite long hair and she's debating on cutting it going to a shorter more risky cut and she'll post something in her instagram story like hey should i go try a haircut like this and then people can vote and all the time you see all other girls voting like yes do it try it it's gonna look good on you and i'm just like wait almost every guy likes longer hair better and most girls must know that it's quite a risky thing to do and there's a reason she's had this haircut for so long probably because at one point you tried another one but this one is the best but then they do it anyway and when they post the results I feel like they get hyped up by the girls just like us guys do with my boxing photo and the girls are like whoa it's so pretty you look so good girl yeah but deep down everyone's like hmm the previous haircut was better something else that guys keep asking me about how many photos do you need on your online dating profile? At one point during the call, the girls were looking at this photo, when Megan suddenly interrupted the other girls and brought up a very good point. Let's be honest here, if we have a Tinder profile, like Max, you need to have like five pics. If you have six and seven, it's like pushing it too much. You want to save something like, you know, to like the imagination, just like a few good pics. So if we're yeah. thinking like, out of all the pics we're talking about, we need to make a profile, like, we got to be more critical. Megan's opinion is 100% in line with the guidelines of the TextGod mentoring program. But just to be sure, I texted a girl so cute she could as well be an angel and I asked her how many photos she thinks a guy should have on his profile. Here's the screenshot of the conversation. They have the exact same opinion. You need to have five photos on your dating profile so you can leave something to the girl's imagination and make them crave more photos of you. These were some snippets, some secrets uncovered from the call with these lovely ladies. The full uncut 80 minute video is added to the TextGod mentoring program. Stay tuned for the video where some of the most successful guys from the TextGod mentoring program did the same experiment. We'll see who did better. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Love you very much. See you in the next one.